So maybe you're designing character, maybe for an art piece, an animation, or maybe for a comic, or for a game. And you're not too sure how to go about drafting an outfit. Maybe I can help with that. So today, I'd like to go over how I like to draft and design character outfits. So for this video, we'll only be talking about the clothing. This is a step where maybe you have a world idea and are creating characters that fit the world, or maybe you have the general traits of a character and you're searching for an outfit that feels right for them. I like to think about outfits broadly in two parts, the type of outfit and the theming of the outfit. These are broad terms that work in my head and other artists probably have their own terms for what we're about to talk about, so keep that in mind as we go. For the type of outfit, think about what the outfit is at its core. It could be a casual outfit for going out, a uniform that is part of a profession, or maybe it is the robes of a wizard. The type of outfit should give the viewer basic information to understand the role of the character within the setting. The details the viewer takes them don't need to be complex. It could be things like, this is a modern day civilian, this person is a firefighter, this person is a wizard. At this stage, we are only creating a base and not something unique. No matter what ideas you have for the outfit, image boards like ArtStation and Pinterest where you can put in a keyword and search for a big collection of images will be your best friend. Now, I'm not saying you steal someone else's work one to one, but it's fine to go through and pick out parts you like from various images, whereas photos of clothing and cosplay, renders from games and animations, or art pieces from other artists, what we're building is a base that's recognizable, so there's no reason to try and reinvent the wheel. As you pick out parts, pay attention to trends within the types of outfits you're looking at. Take notes of things like the material of the clothing, the types of bags, hats, and other accessories. Positioning of details on the clothing like buttons, pockets, patches, zippers, and tiers. These common recurring details give you the idea of variations of tops, bottoms, and accessories that work together. And also ways to incorporate a theme into the base to make the outfit your own. Once you're done picking out your parts that you'll like to work with, you might find something similar within the search results of the outfit type you're working with. At this stage, this could be considered a good thing because it means your base has succeeded before. Now let's move on to the theme of your outfit. The way I think of the theme of a character's outfit is the details that transform the outfit from something generic into a unique outfit that belongs to your character, or to your world. This can be the finding colors of a character, a motive that represents the character, or a symbol that indicates where they belong within the world's narrative. Color refers generally to the color palette, we won't go into detail about palettes today, but no matter how simple or complex the color palette is, having a single color be the base is always a good place to begin. A great use of colors to easily define a character against others in similar roles. Those familiar team-based heroes or magical girl shows will be familiar with this concept, as while the variation design between characters vary between shows, the first identifying feature for each character is their color. Next is motifs, which is my generally preferred way of working something unique to my character outfits. Motifs can take on the form of patterns and prints on clothing, themed accessories that wearable like hairpins or keychains, or attachments to standard clothing to add a theme. This is why I look at most closely during research on the clothing type I've decided to work with, to see where and how other people have successfully incorporated a motif into this type of outfit. Motifs can be subtle or more explicit. Let's take a sweater for example. If you want to add a star theme, you can simply slap a giant star to the center of the chest. Or you can align the edge of the waist area with small stars. On the other hand, an accessory like a bag could have a star theme keychain hanging off it. Or the bag itself could be a star. Jewelry and other accessories can also be treated in the same vein. Lastly, adding a symbol or emblem to the clothing. These are usually small, like badges or logos, and can be used to quickly define a character's position into an established narrative. In particular, I find this works especially well for uniforms, because these outfits generally maintain a level of genericness no matter the world to make the proficient of character quickly recognizable to a viewer. And the symbol tells the viewer that these people belong to this group within the world. Or if you're making a set of characters with different designs that belong to the same group, the group's logo could be attached somewhere on each of the outfits to signal to a viewer that they all belong to this one group. And that is it for how I like to draft outfits. Remember that this is largely a drafting or brainstorming step, and once you have a more solid idea of your character, you'll want to go through more in-depth character design steps. But if you found something useful in this video, leave a like and subscribe for more videos. Also, you have ways you'd like to go about the early drafting phase of character outfits? Leave a comment below. Alright, and I'll see you all in the next one.